What's going on, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. Hope y'all doing okay today. Uh, been kind of a lot on my mind and not in like a thinking things through kind of way, just kind of a what's going on. So, way well, I figure, kind of give y'all a explanation for the lack of videos going up here lately. Um, first off, um, with me working nights and my wife working days, there's been just a emotional distance between her and I that we're working on. Previous video I put up about me going to day shift, that's, I enjoyed day shift more, but that's why I put in for it a little sooner rather than a little later. Um, just from a, my seniority position in the, in the building I work at and the likelihood of me staying, I would have rather waited another two or three months because there was a guy that went that's got around my amount of time in and I wanted to make sure he was going to stay before I went but I uh, went on ahead and put in for it we'll see what happens um, also I don't know if I've mentioned this on here before but uh, I've got an uncle on my mother's side of the family that has been in exceptionally rapid decline in his health He's got COPD. He let me think. I want to get the timetable right on this. I think it was in 2019. He moved closer to where my mom lives. His immediate family either was unable to uh, via distance as far as where they live or unwilling to help him out, you know, just run little errands, things like that. He was still okay to drive and get around and whatnot, but he, uh, he was getting, he was having some bad days where he just needed someone to be able to poke in and help him and drop off dinner, things like that. Well, anyway, um, he did live quite a ways out of town from us uh, up till 2019 moved him into an apartment that was nearby about 15-20 minutes up the road uh, got that squared away and he just has been on a rather steady decline ever since but in the past two months he's gotten way worse Last I heard, he hasn't eaten or drinking, drank anything uh, for several days of his own accord. He won't. Also, he's been uh, out of it for the most part, just sleeping or in a coma. We don't really know. But uh, he's just had a lot of health problems over the past couple of years and kind of looking like it's the end, and that's been kind of weighing on me pretty heavy. My mom did quite a bit of help with him, running him to and from doctor's appointments once he wrecked his car. Um, they'd go out to lunch quite a bit. He'd come over to our house for, you know, dinners out and things like that. We'd take him out to eat sometimes with us, me and my family. Um, get kind of the whole gang together, go out and eat, but uh, he's just not been doing too good, and it's looking like this is the last couple days. I went up to see him a few days ago, and I was sitting there talking with him, and he was, I'm not going to say he was out cold the whole time, he may not have been, but he was unresponsive the whole time. He's laying there breathing regularly, but he didn't acknowledge me in the room. He didn't turn to look at me. You know, I talked to him. Uh, his daughter-in-law tried to wake him, and that didn't work. He didn't respond to that at all, so I just sat in there and talked to him for a little bit. But uh, he ain't doing good, so he's been staying with his daughter-in-law. And, no, 
stepdaughter, stepdaughter, my apologies. He's been staying with his stepdaughter for several months. I don't remember when we moved him in, but um, I'm actually headed up there right now. He's got his daughters coming in from out of town. They live on opposite seaboards, and we're kind of smack dab in the middle of the country, so they're coming into town. I'm heading up there to see my uncle and see my cousins. So, that's kind of what's going on. Um, hope y'all are doing okay. Take care. Thanks for tuning in.